11th April, 1946. Asti, Bhakti, and Priyam. Existence, Consciousness, and Bliss. Yesterday, between 10 and 11 a.m., a Parsi doctor brought a letter and gave it to Bhagavan. Bhagavan got it, read, read it out by a devotee and said, he himself has written the question and the answer as well. What else is there for me to say? As the letter was in English, I could not understand it. The devotee who read it looked at Bhagavan and said, Asti, Bhati, and Priyam are written there. What do they mean? Asti means truth, that which is. Bhati means luster, and Priyam means anandam or bliss. That is the same as Sat Chit Ananda Swarupa. Sat Chit Ananda is spoken of as Asti, Bhati, and Priyam. Both sets of expression mean the same. And then the devotee asked, As Atma is devoid of name or form, should it be meditated upon with Yana, Bhakti? Which is superior to and above Yana? And Bhagavan replied, If you say that you should meditate, doesn't that imply dualism? It implies one who meditates and that on which he meditates. Atma, the self, however, is nameless and formless. How is it possible to meditate upon the nameless and formless? Yana athit bhakti means one's own self, nameless and formless, just witness. The I is one's own self. That I is everywhere. Only one I then what is there to meditate upon? Who is it that meditates? It is the I that is everywhere, which is called Athi Bhati Priyam, or Sat Chit Anandam. The names are many, but the thing is only one. 